So 3 in the diagram on the right, ABCD is a parallelogram with vertices ABCD. Find the area of triangle ABC. So we have ABCD. So area is equal to half. So we have ABC, right? So ABC triangle, that means you have to have four points. First and last must be similar. It doesn't matter where you start. I mean, you have A, B, C, right? You can start from B, start from C, start from A. Doesn't matter as long as the first and the last one is similar point. So A is 4, negative 2. So B is 7, 5. C is 4, 7. And A here is 4, negative 2. Which is equal to half. So 4 times 5 is 20. 7 times 7 is 49. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Okay. Or you can, so we know that this one to this one is positive, right? So plus negative 8 is equal to negative 8. So below to up is negative, is minus. So this one, negative 2 times 7, we get minus negative 14. Minus negative 14. 5 times 4 is 20. Minus 20. 4 times 4 is 28. So here minus 28. So here we get half. So this one is 20 plus 49 minus 8 minus minus become positive minus 20 minus 28 which is equal to half. Twenty-seven. So half 27, 27 divided by 2 we get 13.5 unit square. Or you can also write 13 1 over 2 units square. So it's the same thing basically. Alright. So here ABC, area ABC is equal to 13 1 over 2 unit square. B, the value of K if the area of, where is K? The area of ACD is equal to area of ABC. So now area of ACD, ACD is equal to, so we see here we have three points, right? A, C, D. You can start with any point. It can be A, it can be A, C, D, A again. Or if you want to start from D, D, C, A, D again as long this one and this one is the same. But I love, uh, I love uh, putting this one zero front and back. So I want to write D first. So D, I want to do D, C, A, D. So this one is K0 and then C is 4, 7. So A, D, C, A, right? A is 4, negative 2 and this one is K0. And we know that this one is equal to 13.5. Okay. So don't forget your half here. Which is equal to half. So here, K times 7 is 7K. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, right? So we have 2 plus negative 8 or can directly write negative 8. 4 times 0 is 0. This is why I like it because anything multiplied with 0, you get 0. Okay, so this one 0 times 4 is 0. So minus 0, you don't even have to write. 7 times 4 is 28, right? So minus 28. So when you multiply 0 to up, you have to minus that. Negative 2 times k, you get negative 2k. So minus negative 2k. So you are done, right? So, done. so you have 13.5. So you have half here. These two can be multiplied with this side. So 13.5 times 2, we get uh, 27, right? So this one is 7k plus minus become minus. This one 0, 0. So this one is minus 28. Minus, minus become positive 2k is equal to this one is 27. So 7k plus 2k is 9k. Negative, negative, you get negative 36 is equal to 27. So here, when you open the modulus, the value must be positive or negative. So here, 9k minus 36 is equal to 27 or 9k minus 36 is equal to negative 27. So here 9k minus 36 is 27. So 9k is equal to when you move to the other side, 27 plus 36. So here we get 63. So k is equal to 63 divided by 9. So here we get 7. 
So there is another point 9k minus 36 is equal to negative 27. So when you move to the other way, 9k is equal to negative 27 plus 36 which is equal to 9. So 9k is equal to 9. K is equal to 9 divided by 9 which is equal to 1. So if you see from this one, you have k here, right? So we know that this one is 7, b is 7. So k cannot be 7. So k must be 1. So this one, the value of k, k is equal to 1. C coordinates of E if ACB is, is a parallelogram. So we have AC here, we have B here, so E must be here. So what is the point E? So when we have the parallelogram, the midpoint here is equal. So the midpoint here is equal. So here we can find the midpoint between A and B. So we can get this point. So midpoint of A and B, so how to get the midpoint? So x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So here x1, A and B, right? So this one is 4 plus 7 divided by 2. And then for y, where is the y? So this one, A and B, right? So 5 and negative 2. 5 plus negative 2 divided by 2. So here we get 11 over 2. And 5 minus 2 is 3 over 2. So here we get 5.5 and then 1.5. So this one the coordinate is 5.5 and then 1.5. So we know that this one, this one share the same midpoint. So midpoint. So we know that midpoint point C and E is equal to this point which is 5.5 and 1.5. So we can find what is our E. So if this one is X1, Y1, so we know that this one, so X1 plus this X plus this X plus X of C divided by 2 is equal to 5.5. And we know for the Y7, so we see here y of 7 plus this y plus y, just write y right, okay, no y1, divided by 2 is equal to, so the y is 1.5. So here 2 times 5.5 .5 is equal to 11, so I just write x can, x plus 4 is equal to 11, x is equal to 11 minus 4 which is equal to 7. So just write this one. Okay, so this one. 2 times 1.5, we get 3, 7 plus y1 is equal to 3, y1 is equal to 3 minus 7 which is equal to negative 4. So, coordinates of E is 7, negative 4. I mean, for this one, you can just directly write x and y so that you don't have to write 1 many times, okay? So, done. So, the area of parallelogram A, C, B, E, so just now, this is our... So 7, negative 4, 7 is basically here. So negative 4 might be here. So this is E which is 7, negative 4. So area is equal to half. So you take the 4 points. So it must have 4 points plus 1 repeated of the first one. So here because no 0, you can take any point. I start with A. So this one is 4, negative 2. And then I go to E. You can go anyway. It can be A, C, B, E, A or A, E, B, C, A. You will still get the same answer. So this one A, if I want to go E, 7, negative 4. And then B, 7, 5. And then this one is 4, 7. And then I come back to A which is 4, negative 2. First and last must be equal which is equal to half. So 4 times negative 4, you get negative 16, right? 7 times 5, you get 35. 7 times 7, we get 49. 4 times negative 2, we get negative 8 plus negative 8. Up to down is plus. Okay. So this one, 2 times negative 2 times 7, you get negative 14. So minus negative 14. So down to up, you have 2 minus. Negative 4 times 7, you get negative 28 minus negative 28. 5 times 4 is 20. 
So this one is minus 20. So 7 times 4 is 28. So minus 28. So here we get half. So you just add up everything. You just negative 16 plus 35 plus 49. Positive, negative, negative 8. Negative, negative, positive 14. Negative, negative, positive negative 20 minus 28 so this one and this one can be cut it's equal to half so you have to close here this one is 54 which is equal to half 54 modulus of 54 is 54 which is equal to 37 units square so this one just the area